Palantir is currently trading over $40, and it seems like we've gone from being ridiculed for discussing this stock to being taken a bit more seriously. As the stock crosses the $40 mark, the price to earnings, PE, ratio might be around 250, reigniting the heated debates. Critics might argue that it's too late to invest in this stock, suggesting that you should have bought in earlier when we identified it as a meme stock. However, Here's something that could change your perspective. A recent report from Dresner Advisory Services has ranked Palantir as the top player in AI, data, and machine learning. Let's talk about trading Palantir right now. Is it a bloated tech bubble poised to burst, or is it still a major player in the AI sector? A staggering statistic reveals that 82% of businesses consider AI and machine learning crucial. The report highlights that while there is significant enthusiasm for AI, the actual deployment of these technologies remains quite low. Many businesses are still in the early phases of adopting AI, with projects often limited to research and development departments within larger organizations. This gap between recognizing the importance of AI and actually implementing it isn't necessarily a bad thing for Palantir shareholders. In fact, it suggests that we might be on the brink of a major shift in business operations, with a lot of money yet to be invested in AI technologies. This means we're still at the beginning of the story, which opens up the potential for a significant surge in adoption. An exciting trend is the swift ascent of generative AI. In just one year, the number of organizations using or experimenting with generative AI surged from 29% to 49%. That's a significant increase. So, what does this mean to investors? It indicates that we're at a pivotal moment. The potential of this technology is being recognized, advancements are being made, and businesses are beginning to understand how to utilize it effectively. The companies that can successfully bridge the gap between the recognized importance of AI and its actual implementation will be the big winners in the years to come. This brings us back to Palantir. Before diving into their specific position within this landscape, let's examine where they stand in the market. According to Dresner, Palantir isn't just participating in the big leagues, they're leading the pack. The report ranks Palantir tied for first place in AI, data science, and machine learning, sharing the top spot with Domino Data Lab while outpacing tech giants like Google and industry veterans such as SAS. This isn't just a popularity contest or some marketing ploy. The methodology behind this ranking is quite solid. They evaluate vendors based on a wide range of criteria, including analytical features, functions, neural networks, data preparation capabilities, usability, and more. It's like a decathlon for AI companies, covering all aspects of performance. Moreover, the report isn't solely based on what vendors claim they can do, it incorporates real user experiences and feedback. So, if a company ranks at the top, it means they're not just good at one niche area, it signifies their proficiency across various domains and that users are actively engaging with and enjoying their offerings. By the way, if you are benefiting from the content so far and want more like this, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications bell, and comment the word more. Just go ahead and type the word more so I know. Now that you've commented, let's continue. You might be excited about AI, but how does Palantir fit into all of this? Let's break it down by examining how Palantir's offerings align with the key areas that companies are prioritizing. First up, we have analytical features. The industry is heavily focused on capabilities like regression models, outlier detection, and advanced statistical analysis. Pretty thrilling stuff, right? Palantir's Foundry platform excels in this area, providing analytical tools that can handle just about any challenge thrown at it. Next is data preparation, which is a crucial step that often gets overlooked in the AI hype. Even the most advanced AI is only as good as the data it receives. Palantir has made data preparation a cornerstone of its offerings, enabling the platform to integrate data from multiple sources, clean it up, and prepare it for analysis on a massive scale, essentially automating the process. Then we have usability. 
The industry recognizes that for AI to truly transform businesses, it needs to be accessible to more than just data scientists and a handful of developers. Palantir has truly been ahead of the curve in this area. Their user interface is designed to be intuitive, enabling business users, not just developers or data scientists, to leverage complex AI capabilities without needing a PhD in computer science. It's all about making AI accessible and turning it into a tool for the many, rather than just a select few. Lastly, scalability is crucial in the world of enterprise AI. The ability to transition from pilot projects to full production across large organizations with hundreds of thousands of employees and multiple locations is essential. This is where Palantir's experience with large governments and massive corporations really shines. Their solutions are built from the ground up to handle massive data sets and support complex organization-wide deployments. Now, let's explore what this means for Palantir as a company and as an investment. Is Palantir overvalued? Given that the P-E ratio must be around 250, it does appear extremely expensive by traditional metrics. However, traditional valuation methods may not fully capture the potential growth and innovation that Palantir brings to the table. The price-to-earnings, P-E, ratio is a common financial metric used to assess a company's valuation. It compares a company's current share price to its earnings per share, EPS. A high P-E ratio typically indicates that investors are expecting higher growth in the future compared to companies with a lower P-E ratio. However, this metric is traditionally used for established companies in mature industries, where earnings are stable and predictable. For a company like Palantir, which operates at the cutting edge of technology and data analytics, traditional earnings measurements may not fully capture its growth potential. The AI sector is rapidly evolving, and companies may invest heavily in research and development, R&D, with the expectation that this will yield substantial returns in the future. Therefore, their current earnings might be low or even negative, leading to inflated P-E ratios that don't accurately reflect their value or growth prospects. As noted, while a significant portion of businesses, 82%, recognizes the importance of AI, only about 5% have integrated it into their operations in a meaningful way. This indicates that many businesses are still in the early phases of understanding how AI can enhance their processes. Palantir, being at the forefront of AI, is poised to capitalize on this market shift as more companies transition from considering AI to actively implementing it. This transitional phase means that current earnings may not be reflective of future profitability. Palantir operates within a vast total addressable market that is expanding as AI technology becomes more widely accepted. The potential for growth in this market is enormous. Traditional valuation metrics might not account for the sheer size of the market opportunities ahead. If AI adoption increases significantly, the demand for Palantir services could skyrocket, resulting in exponential growth in revenue and earnings. Come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus invites you today in Matthew 11 verse 28. Whatever your anxieties and trials, spread out your case before the Lord. Your spirit will be braced for endurance. The way will be open for you to disentangle yourself from embarrassment and difficulty. The weaker and more helpless you know yourself to be, the stronger will you become in his strength. If you have watched the whole video until the end, drop a comment like this, I stayed until the end. Just comment that I stayed until the end. When I see this comment, I will give you a heart. There are three more important steps to build wealth. First, like this video, subscribe and then turn on the notifications bell. If you do this, you highly motivate me to continue bringing to you educative and transformative videos every week. Do not miss out on our future videos full of knowledge and wisdom, all I am asking is your subscription. Thanks for joining us today, your support is appreciated so much. Do not hesitate to share this video to help someone, I recommend that you watch the next video, subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts about today's video. Thank you, see you in the next video by God's grace, we love you, and blessings to you.